The Awakening by Kate Chopin. Alashma. Everybody makes mistakes, and sometimes they're a good way to learn stuff. Like not to put the car into reverse when you're on the freeway. Then there's the self sabotage, the haircut you gave yourself before school picture day. Well, come on, let's take the hat off. Oh my, let's put it back on. Well, in Kate Chopin's novel The Awakening, feisty heroine Edna is having a rough time adjusting to life as an independent woman. She finally managed to ditch her husband and score a hottie bad boy. Hey. She's even starting to make a name for herself as a painter. Wow! But then her "hear me roar" philosophy scares away the man she really wants, and she starts getting visits from the guilt fairy. <laughs> What a loser! Edna's next move is to make a grand exit by drowning in the ocean. Sure, she's a drama queen, but is this really the ending she intended? Was Edna's drowning a suicide? Or an accident. There are some pretty substantial arguments for、uh, the oopsie theory. Sure, Edna's a pretty moody gal, but she's got a lot to look forward to. She's finding buyers for her paintings. Exquisite, marvelous, delectable. Really, I must have this painting. And she has a pretty sweet bachelorette pad. She's even making plans to bring home a couple rebound boyfriends. Why would Edna deliberately end it all when she is finally achieving her goals? Or maybe Edna's swan song is really an attempt to push the envelope. Her friend Mademoiselle Rice tells her that to succeed, you must become a courageous soul that dares and defies. In other words, art ain't for wimps. Hey, come on! Is name calling really necessary? So how does Edna raise the shock factor after having two affairs and sort of leaving her husband? Well, nothing says I'm a risk taker quite like skinny dipping in broad daylight. But what if Edna really did go on a suicide swim? The early 1900s weren't exactly about bra burning and free love, and Edna's behavior may have serious consequences. If the news of her affairs ever went、uh, viral, Edna's husband could easily make sure she never saw her children again. Edna has to choose between free life as an outcast and cage life as a man's property. And maybe that's a decision she just doesn't want to make. So, what's the verdict in this episode of CSI New Orleans? Accident or suicide? Shmump amongst yourselves. Hey, come on! Is name calling really necessary?